Howdy y'all, it is Cody from Keepers of Nerd. I'm once again joined for part two with my brother Kai. Hello. And we're going to be opening uh, Keyforge, Call of the Arkans mm -hmm. Generation 1 decks that he ordered. So these are all his, but he's allowed me to be a part of this and get to open some with him and talk through it. Like our, our first video I'd highly recommend of this, this box, so we're doing 12 decks total, three parts, was insane. Like it was really impressive. They they all looked like really fun decks that were going to be interesting. Well, we haven't scanned them in yet, but we'll find out later. So we're going to open another four. And what we're going to do is, if we haven't seen the card yet today, we will read through it entirely. But if if we've already seen the card pop up during this video, part two, then we will uh, just skip past it and just acknowledge the name of the card. So let's start with our first deck here. And you might hear someone else opening, and it'll be me or Kai opening the next deck to get ready for the opening. Our first deck is Dis, Shadows, and Logos. Interesting. Pastoral Bloodstone Colton. <laughs> I like the name. That's cool. That's cool. It's funny because some of these names from Gen 1, uh, it was kind of before they had fully figured out the algorithm for names at times. And sometimes the names got pretty ridiculous. And it's kind of fun. Okay, we're not going to show the, uh, the card that has just the list of stuff. We're going to go through the deck. So it's more fun this way. Naughty the Thief, he's elusive, two power, action, steal, one amber. Good if you can keep him alive. Moon Cursor, skirmish, and poison. So if, if they go through and hit something that's not armor, so it actually hit health, they instantly destroy the, the thing they're fighting, and they will fight to steal one, and skirmish protects them on offense. Magda the Rat, very nice. Four power, elusive, play, steal two, but when it leaves play. And that is shuffled, destroyed, purged, your opponent steals two amber. Interesting. Even if it goes back to your hand. Mesis Asp, uh, three power skirmish, and poison as well. Very good card, and more power. Seeker Needle. This is one of those artifacts that's not great, but it's not bad. It's an action to deal one damage to a creature. If this damage destroys that creature, gain one amber. So they come in exhausted, and then the turns after that, every time you call shadows, you can use this and deal one damage to a creature, and even to your own, and gain an amber. Relentless Whispers. Play. Deal two damage to a creature. If this damage destroys that creature, steal one amber. Very nice. Poison Wave. Play. Deal two damage to each creature. This can hurt you because you have weak creatures and shadows. Another one. Nerve Blast. Steal one amber. If you do, deal two damage to a creature. I love that it's dependent on stealing. You're like, why wouldn't I? But there are cards that prevent that. So, like, prevent the steal. Well, and if they have a turn where they're out of amber for some reason. Right. Miasma. Play. Your opponent skips the forge a key step on their next turn. Very powerful card. Booby Trap Artifact. No, just an action. Play. Deal four damage to a creature that's not on a flank with two damage splash. That makes sure that it's going to hit for four and then two and two to two different creatures. Okay. Bait and Switch. Oh, the card. Play. If your opponent has more amber than you, steal one. Repeat this card's effect if your opponent still has more amber than you. That being said, this actually used to happen multiple times. Now it only happens one time that you repeat the card. All right. Were there any rares? I don't think so. Not very many creatures either. There's only like three or four. Three. Dang. Okay, so we've got Mother. During your draw card step, refill your hand to one additional card. Crazy card. Five power, too. This just makes you go so much faster and more efficient. Two Mothers. Come on, Magic Three. Three mothers. Four? Four? No. Three mothers is insane. <laughs> Those are a good card anyway. Just one of them. Three is insane. Quick so the adventure. I mean, just even if you got those out in one turn, one time, you would draw up to nine cards instead of six. Yeah. Wild. Uh, Quick so the adventure. He's skirmish three power. Fight, draw a card. Very nice. Spangler box. Yeah. Artifact. This is a rare. Action, purge a creature in play. If you do, your opponent gains control of Spangler Box. If Spangler block Box leaves play, return play all cards purged by Spangler Box. This is one of those few cards at the beginning of the game that would actually get purged cards back in a way. But also, if they don't have Logos, this just sits on their side, mm -hmm. which is really funny. All right, Anomaly Exploiter. Action, destroy a damaged creature. This can be really good. Oh my goodness. Another rare. Reverse time. I love this card. Play. Swap your deck and your discard pile, then shuffle your deck. It's not necessarily this is a good card, because it can really mess you up, but it's really fun. Because you just swap the two. Positron Bolt. I love this card. Play. Deal three damage to a flank creature, then two to its neighbor, and then one to the second creature's other neighbor. So it's just like electricity that's getting shocking multiple things. Hmm. 
Neurosiphon, play. If your opponent has more amber than you, steal one and draw a card. Great card. Lab work, play. Archive a card. It's not as good as sloppy lab work, but lab work is still a good card. Because it at least gets another card out of your hand in preparation for other turns and gets you to draw back more. Total. And another lab work. Very good. Dimension Door. For the remainder of the turn, any amber you would gain from reaping is stolen from your opponent instead. With those mothers, this could be really useful. All right, we are at the dis. Flame Wreath. This creature gets plus two power and gains Hazardous 2. Dang. That's good. It's it's not one of those great upgrades, but it's okay. It's just there. True Baru. I don't remember this card. He's a rare. Seven power. You must lose three amber in order to play True Baru. He is taunting, so you have to attack him instead of his neighbors. When he is destroyed, you gain five amber. Now, if, if they put it back in your hand, or purge it, or shuffle back in the deck, you don't get the five amber. That's the one weakness here, but this is cool. Dang, that's quite the card. Succubus. Three power during their draw card step. Your opponent refills their hand to one less card. This is a terrible... That's weird. Look at that card. It's got, like, divots in it. Weird. Yeah. Anyway, this is one of those cards that's cool concept, but it's hard to keep alive for that long. Another Succubus. Snudge. Four power. When it fights or reaps, return an artifact or flank creature to its owner's hand. Pit Demon. Five power. Action. Steal one. Great card if you can keep him alive. And he's actually more useful. Science Officer Wu... That's from, like, Star Alliance. They already had Star Alliance planned out. So cool. Uh, Dominator Bobble Artifact. Action. Use a friendly creature. Doesn't ready it, but it does use one, so you can use outside a house. Poltergeist. Play. Use an artifact controlled by any players. If it were yours, destroy that artifact. Very handy. Hand of Dis. Play. Destroy a creature that is not on a flank. So they actually have to have some creatures out, otherwise this doesn't do anything. Fear. Return an enemy creature to its owner's hand. This is a good card, too, when you need it. Control the weak. Play. Choose a house on your opponent's ID card. Your opponent must choose a house as their active house on their next turn. This just, I mean, this can mess up your opponent. Because you know that they already played this stuff, and then you got rid of all of it, and you go, I'm calling that house again. Good luck. Because I know you probably don't have much in your hand. Arise. Play. Choose a house. Return each creature of that house from your discard pile to your hand. Gain one chain. Ooh. Yeah, and that could be uh, with this. One, two, three, four, five. Five creatures. This didn't seem like I had a whole lot of creatures, and that's the only problem here. No, yeah, but if you it can, doesn't. If you but it's some cool stuff. Mothers have been destroyed, though. You're talking about being able to just put those right back in your hand. Hand, yes, but then you have to wait another turn to call it. That's the problem. True. But if you can get the, the disc right back, pretty cool. Um, I like that deck. It's cool. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, Pastoral Bloodstone Colton is quite the deck. All right. All righty. What's our next one? We have the Chancellor Trapgore Quo. Trapgore Quo. <laughs> I don't even know what we're Word, looking at. Words are hard. It um, is weird. So I believe, okay, so What's there's our houses? The deck list. Sorry, I'm setting the deck list over there. Uh, we are Shadows, Logos, and Mars. Cool. So let's just start. So we're going to start with Shadows. Sorry, I'm going to scratch my eye. Um, the creature gains Reap. What oh, is this is an upgrade. Silent Dagger. The creature gains Reap. Deal four damage to a flank creature. I like that. That is cool. And it's good June Amber. It's a really well. pretty card. Umbra. Uh, skirmish. And when this creature is fighting, it's dealt no damage in return. Fight, steal one. Shadow Self. Always a fun card. Shadow Self deals no damage when fighting. Damage dealt to non-Spectrum neighbors is dealt to Shadow Self instead. Again, very, very powerful card, but creates some weird shenanigans because of how it absorbs stuff. Mm -hmm. Dodger. Fight. Steal one. Carlo Phantom. Elusive and skirmish. Skirmish. Each time <laughs> you play a, an artifact, steal one. That's cool. Now we need to pay attention to how many artifacts are in yeah, this deck. Could be great. And, ooh, and then there's that. Bad <sighs> Penny. Return destroyed. Return bad penning to your hand. Always an interesting card. You pray for a secret meal now. Yeah. Okay, so now we got an artifact. Yep, we've got one artifact so far. Okay. So we have subtle well actually no, I think the No, that was no, an upgrade. Was Silent an upgrade. Dagger was an upgrade. Yep. So subtle mall. Artifact. It's a weapon and action your opponent discards a random card from your hand. Okay? That's okay. Too much to protect. Steal mm -hmm. all but six of your opponent's amber. Great card. Powerful card. Pawn Sacrifice. 
that that's a good card to combo with Bad Penny. You yeah, you play down Bad Penny. You play this on her to sacrifice her to deal three damage to each two creatures. She goes back to your hand. Throw Bad Penny away. Yep. Throw in the discard pile. That's one of the better cards to have if you have Bad Penny. That is true. There you go. You That'd be really twice. funny to do it twice. <laughs> All right, Miasma. Your opponent skips the Forge a Key step on their next turn. Bait and switch. We've already seen. Such a good card, though. All right. There was have... no rares in that, was there? Uh, I don't believe so. No, but it's still really good. All right, no, we're on to Mars. Away, but yeah. Upgrade. Ram. Red Planet Ray Gun. Love this card. This creature gains Reap. Choose a creature. Deal one damage to that creature for each Mars creature in play. That could get insane. Ixlix Dominator. Always good. Taunt. This creature's neighbors cannot be attacked unless they have taunt. Ixlix Dominator enters play Stun. He's a 9-1. Very strong character. And Stun creature. means that the next time you try to use it, you have to actually get rid of the Stun first. But because he's taunting, it doesn't matter too much. He's just a 9 power that's going to sit there and protect other stuff. Ixlil Bolter. Fight Reap. Deal 2 damage to a creature. If this damage destroys that creature, purge it. Interesting. Not super strong, but if you can make no. it happen. But if you get rid of a Shadow's Urchin, that's a win. Mm-hmm. Ixali Marauder. Ixali Marauder gets plus one power for each amber on it. Play. Capture one amber for each friendly ready Mars creature. And this is why this card... I love the concept here, but it sucks. Because it's capture one for each friendly ready yeah, Mars creature. Yeah, it's a tough one. It can Dang. work out really well, but... Oh my gosh, you got him again! Looks like Disintegrator. Elusive. And that is, this creature cannot be attacked each turn. Uh, well, wait, the first time he's attacked each turn, no damage is dealt. Woo! <laughs> I'm getting tired, guys. Uh, action, your opponent loses one amber for each other friendly Mars creature. If you can keep that thing alive, nuts. Two of them. What the heck? I've never seen that. Now we just need to be able to ready them. Mind Let's Warper. See. Elusive. Action, choose an enemy creature. It captures one from its own side. Huh. Squawker, there it is. There it is. Ready a Mars creature or stun a non-Mars creature. Perfect. Phosphorus Star, stun each non Mars creature, gain two change. Love oh that card. My goodness, what is this Mars? Mothership Support. For each friendly ready Mars creature, deal hmm. two damage to a creature. Dang, okay, hang on. How many Mars creatures have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's good. That's good. Key Abduction. Play, return each Mars creature to its owner's hand. Then you may forge a key at plus nine current cost, reduced by one for each card in your hand. Not a great key forger. <laughs> card, but... No. It could, it could do something, If you had though. a ton of creatures in the deck, amazing, but this is not that deck. Ammonia Clouds deal three damage to each creature. Could be good, but it hurts you as well. Yep. Alright, we're on to Logos. Titan Mechanic. Always good card. While Titan Mechanic is on a flank, each key costs minus one, even though that does apply to your opponent as well, yeah, so that can be that's the rough. problem. Ooh! Osmo Martianologist. This is a rare. I don't know if I've ever seen him before. Elusive. Fight Reap. Heal three damage from a Mars creature or stun a Mars creature. That is oddly specific. But very helpful in this deck. That is interesting, yeah. Hmm. I like that. That's funny. That would be kind of useless in other decks, but if you get right. a Mars. <laughs> uh, Mother. We've seen Mother. It's a great card. Yeah. Queekso Adventure. Skirmish. We've seen him. Draw a card. Doc Bookton. Reap to draw a card. And she's five power. It doesn't make sense Two. why she is five power. Three Doc Bookton. My goodness. Not my favorite card to see, but cool. Dexter. I didn't realize he was Gen 1. Capture oh, play, God. capture one. Destroyed, put Dexter on the top of your deck. Not a good card, actually, because he can mess everything up because you have to keep redrawing him. It's true. And it can really get, get obnoxious. Artifact. This is our second artifact. Woo! The Howling Pit. During their draw card step, each player refills their hand to one additional card. So that's every one. It is, but... My gosh, and you have a mother in here too? Mm -hmm. mm. Wild Wormhole, <laughs> play the top card of your deck. Well, what I mean, if you, if you get Dexter. What is this deck? Twin Bolt Emissions. So we have deal two damage to a creature and deal two damage to a different creature. Not it's a not, bad card. It's just there. Yeah. It's not bad, it's not good. There's a good card. Sloppy Ragwar, archive a card, discard a card. And why is it good to discard a card? Well, it speeds up your hand because it can be a card. No, I'm not that sure. You you don't want from another house. I'm not sure if this deck needs it, though. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you could have Bad Penny and not have the other cards with her, so you could just get rid of her. Uh, I, mm, that's pretty good, too. Dang. What is going on here in these decks? All right, our next deck is 
Logos, Ooh. Untamed, and Brobnar. Three of my favorite factions. Woden, really? Yeah. Woden, Ustenwater, Khan. Khan! All right. Yeah, he's a... He's a con. He's important. Niffle Ape. While Niffle Ape is attacking, ignore Taunt and Elusive. I think we've seen the Mushroom Man. We haven't. I love not, mushroom not, in this, man. not in this video. We haven't actually seen a Niffle Ape yet. Really? No, it's weird, isn't is it? it? Untamed? Oh, no. No. Uh, mushroom Man. Mushroom Man gets plus three power for each unforged key you have. So he starts at two, but actually, no, he doesn't because he's actually three, six, nine power plus two. So he's at 11 power when he first puts him down at the beginning of the game. Two of these. Some things are nasty. Lupo the Scarred. Six power. Skirmish, which is great. Play deal two damage to an enemy creature. Nice. That's a good. That's good. useful. Dust Pixie, there you go. Two Amber. This is why this is any good, is the two Amber, because it itself stinks. Ancient Bear. Salt two. Five power. So it does two extra damage on offense. Vigor. Play. Heal up to three damage from a creature. If you heal three damage, gain one. Amber. Another one. Troop Call. <laughs> <laughs> Why does every deck have true call in it? Return each friendly niffle creature from your discard pile from and from play to your hand. How many niffles? One, I believe. Yep. <laughs> Again, we've seen this multiple times now. In the other video, you should see it. Regrowth. Play. Return a creature from your discard pile to your hand. That's a good card. That is a good card. It's going to be any card. Key. key charge. Bonkers card. Play. Lose one amber. If you do, you may forge a key at current cost. So you need to have at least seven amber to forge with this. Cooperative hunting. Play. Deal one That's damage good. for each friendly creature in play. You may divide this damage among any number of creatures. Very like cool. That card. Yeah, it's good. Logos, Rocket Boots. This creature gains. It's an upgrade. Fight a Reap. If this is the first time this creature was used this turn, ready it. Great card. Titan Mechanic, we've seen. Not my favorite card in ways, because sometimes it can really mess you up, because they forge fast. Oh, neutron shark. it's a Neutron Shark deck. All right. Weird card that has had to have a lot of rulings to change things a bit. Or at least a few rulings, just to get things in line. Anyway. Uh, neutron Shark, one power, but when you play Fight or Reap with this, destroy an enemy creature artifact and a friendly creature artifact. Discard the top card of your deck. If that card is not a Logos card, trigger this effect again, and you just keep going. Unless you nuke Neutron Shark. Because <laughs> then he doesn't get to the bottom of this. Crazy card. Ganymede Archivist, three power, Reap, Archive a card. Dr. Esoterra, play, four, a four power, play, gain one amber for each forge key your opponent has. Doc Booten, we've seen. Dexter, we've seen. Still hate this card. Okay, Twin Bolt Emission. Play, deal two damage. Yeah, we've seen that. Another one. Phase Shift. You may play one non Logos card this turn. Crazy good card. And another one. Especially if it's in a super deck or something, that gets bonkers. But it's dependent on the deck. Neuro Siphon Art of Action card. Play, if your opponent has more amber than you, steal one and draw a card. Very nice. All right. Robnar. The troll. Eight power. <laughs> when he reaps, heal three damage. Like it's that. hard, though, because you're like, he's eight power. I should attack something. <laughs> Crump. Six power. After an enemy creature is destroyed, fighting Crump, its controller loses one amber. Grenade Snib. Two power. Destroyed. Your opponent loses two amber. Dang. That is a great card. And really, really that. fun artifact. I, I haven't seen him in a long time. He's only an uncommon, too. Mighty Javelin Artifact. Omni. Sacrifice. You can use it on any house turn. You have four damage to a creature. When you need it, it can be useful. But this, this is the card. Gauntlet of Command Artifact. Action, ready and fight with a friendly creature. Because that can be outside of house. And Val Jericho, there she is again. Warsong, play. For the remainder of the turn, gain one ember each time a friendly creature fights. With Gauntlet of Command, that makes this actually a useful card. Sound the horns. Play, discard cards from the top of your deck until you either discard a Bromner card, creature, or you run out of cards. Sorry, not... Bromner card, just creature. If discarded, if you discard a Bromner creature this way, put it in your hand. So, sound the horns. How many Bromner creatures did we even have? Three. That is a dangerous card in this deck. Not a yeah, good card. If you combo with Neutron Shark, though, it could be interesting. But it's for your deck really fast. Yeah, kind of, kind of. It's just that you're you're playing for a thing, and you're like, okay, I know there's still one more Bromner in here, but what might you lose that gets discarded along the way? That's the problem. That's why those cards, I'm like, it could be useful later on, because you're right. You could get back to a Neutron Shark or something. Okay, well, what but. I'm saying is, if you've played your entire, all your, because there's only three characters, if you played your, all your Brobnar, and you want to just, like, right. you've already had cycle cards your deck. to start, you just want to cycle your deck. Yes. You can That's where it can be it. useful. It's just, you got to be really careful with it. Oh, yeah. But I totally agree. So, punch, deal three damage to a creature, just a simple action. And another one. Three. 
Loot the bodies for a mana turn. Gain one time each time an enemy creature is destroyed. And that is you, that usually these kind of cards are like tied to fighting. No, that's pretty awesome. It's just open cool. with punch. And you have the javelin. Yep. Bare-handed action card. Play. Put each artifact on top of its owner's deck. Interesting. That's a rare as well. Um, I don't know how I feel about this deck. It's weird. It's so it's, weird. It's a strange deck. The the Neutron Shark's a great control. Ah. The Robnar is going to be decent at fighting, except there's not very many of them at all. Lots and of damage cards, though. the Untamed... I don't know what to think about that Untamed either. It could be good. Tune Mushroom Man. Or... I think the, uh, the strongest thing in here is the Logos, actually. The Logos is definitely your strongest one. Yeah, several of these decks just have little divots on chips in inside of them that, like, almost like from opening that wouldn't happen. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Last one for this video. I love this. Yeah. Back. It's pretty cool. I saw that too, and I was like, oh, that's really pretty. So we have Dis, Sanctum, and Logos as I like those houses Gilzeal, too. the Metal Mind of Food. I'm sorry. That is the best name ever. <laughs> The metal I mind just, of food. I just like the I like the quotations. It's like the the metal mind. Yes, he is quoted as awesome. All he right. thinks he's the metal mind. Never we else even, is like, we've seen Dis and Logos, but we haven't had Sanctum yet. This, this no, video. we have not. So this is a this is a first. Okay, well, well we're going to start with him. Sweet shoulder armor. While this creature is uh, ugh, is on a flank, it gets plus two power and plus two armor. You just have to keep card. that in mind, though, that he has to stay then on a flank mm -hmm. once you do that. Gatekeeper, play if your opponent has seven more amber, capture all but five of it. And so shoulder armor on him is necessity if you can. That's Dang. super awesome because Gatekeeper is bonkers. Staunch Knight. Staunch Knight gets plus two power while it's on the flank. Now you have a problem. <laughs> also, shoulder armor likes friend. that too. Sequis, Reap, capture one. What's his stats though too? He is a 4-2. I always like Sequis. He seems yeah. to keep him out. We've had a good debate about him, Sequis versus Raiding Knight. Which one's better? Well, we it's can hard. find out. Raiding Knight. Yeah. Play capture one. Well, so let's talk about it for just a second. Because Raiding Knight, why he's better in a way is because he captures immediately. It's only one, and that's it, and he's done, but it is immediate. Sequis could continue to capture. And so it's like the situation is what changes which one's more useful. The other thing, too, is Sequis gains one every time he captures one, too. That's true. This is true. And Raiding Knight would gain one anyway from reaping but it's it's really just we're talking about the capture mechanic here mm -hmm. which one is better for you well it depends on the situation nine times out of ten i would say maybe eight times out of ten raiding knight's going to be more useful in the immediate need mm -hmm. but if you're in control already and depending on this deck if it has terms of redress several times then sequis then becomes way more powerful mm -hmm. and that's why i love them like they're both two sides of the same coin jehu the bureaucrat after you choose sanctum as your active house gain two you can He's keep a rare up. If you can keep him out... I hate that card. I really do. The artwork's just stupid. Yeah, it is. But, you know. But he is a cool card. Frankus. We saw this in the previous video, but it's the first time here. Yeah. After an enemy creature is destroyed fighting Frankus, Frankus captures one. Lots of capture in this... Uh, Shoulder armor would be great on him, too. Bulwark. Oh always gosh. a solid card. We haven't seen him yet, Kai. Oh, we have not seen him yet. I apologize. Each of the Bulwark's neighbors gets plus two armor. And armor just protects your hit points, and then you still have. Well, you keep your that health. next to somebody with uh, the shoulder armor. They're yeah. rocking a yeah. They're getting plus some four armor. Insane armor. All right, Hallowed Blaster is an artifact action to heal three damage from a creature. It's so funny because this should be like the best artifact in a way, and it's not because there's so many better artifacts in Sanctum. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad. <laughs> but, and that's just it's not bad. <laughs> It's just, there's better cards. The harder they come. Play Purge Creature with five or more power. Crazy. Take Hostages. For the remainder of the turn, each time a friendly creature fights, it captures one. More yeah. capture. Yeah, you just have to be have cards out and ready to fight. That's mm -hmm. the hard part. But this makes it a little bit better. Inspiration. Ready and use a friendly creature. And that's, that's where Sequis all of a sudden becomes way more useful. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's Sanctum. Logos, Valayan Analyst. I don't believe we've seen this one. Each mm -hmm. time you use an artifact, you gain an amber. That could be really good. Nice. Research Schmoko. <laughs> Not seen this before. Destroyed archive the top card of your deck. So fun fact about him, notice his trait. The the word I like to think of him as actual keywords because the other they switch it in this game for some reason. But he's a mutant, which wasn't a trait that was used till mass mutations a lot. Mm -hmm. We would see even replicator, but he's a rare. But Research Smoke could show up more. So Reap triggered the Reap effect of another creature in play, as if you controlled that creature. 
that creature does not exhaust. So that's another cyclist. Uh, it could, yeah. Yeah, I mean... Definitely, yes. Can I mean Archivist re-archive a card? He could make that happen again. Yeah, there's so many options for that archive. card. Archivist. Not, I don't know if it's great having to them. Um, uh, getting the Archivist is really good because it can clean out your hand. Doc Boopton, I believe we've seen. Mm -hmm. Dexter, we've seen. Gross. Dexter. Double yeah. gross. Lab work. Archive card. Fogify. I don't believe we've seen this. Your opponent cannot use creatures to fight on their next turn. Always a fun card. That's great. Dimension door. Action for play for the remainder of your turn. Any amber you would gain from reaping is stolen from your opponent instead. It always sounds good, and it nine times out of ten I've never seen it work because the person's keeping your logos in check. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're on to the disc. The terror. Play if your opponent has no amber, gain two amber. Not that great, but a solid no, card. He's the funniest card because he's he's the perfect card to play turn one. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we have two of them. Yep, because if you get to go first and you have that in your hand, amazing. Otherwise, mm. no, we have three of them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's three. got power at least. <laughs> yeah, it's just not two, three not very good cards. Succubus, no. we've seen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Schuler, I don't know if we've seen him. Play, if your opponent has four more amber, steal one. He's like the good version of uh, the one we saw at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Shaffle's always a good one. At the end of your turn, your opponent loses one. Yeah, that's a crazy card. Gabos Long Arms. Before fight, choose a creature. Gabos Long Arms deals damage to that creature rather than the one it's fighting. Which is funny because if memory serves, that goes with elusive as well. So you could attack something that's elusive. So that way there's not you don't actually get You're not hurt taking any back. damage. Yeah. Dang. And you go actually the five damage go over there. <laughs> Ember Imp, your opponent cannot play more than two cards each turn. That's nasty card. Yeah. If they don't kill it, it, it gets bad. Dust Imp. Woof. This and this is Interesting, except for, having the, except for the three crappers. Yeah. Um, Dust Imp, Destroy, Game 2 Amber. Archive, or not Archive, Library of the Dam, Artifact. Action to archive a card. I love that they have a Logos type card, basically. That's awesome. We haven't seen a rare in this, have we? No, I'm not sure. Pandemonium. For each undamaged creature, capture one from its opponent. Each undamaged creature. Oh, gee. And that's guys. on both sides. Yeah. So it's it could be bad. Hectatomb, or Hecatomb. Mm -hmm. Play, destroy each disc creature. Each player gains one amber for each creature they controlled that was destroyed this way. There's, there's a rare, actually. This is a fascinating card because... It's a lot of creatures. If you play that on... Uh, yeah, there's a ton of creatures in this. Oh my goodness. Well, and you have some imps in there, too, that give you amber for being uh -huh. destroyed. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. And the dust... You only have one the dust imp, actually. But still. Because you don't want to kill that thing. Uh... Or Gabos or Shaffles, but like these, they already would use their effect and you could do it and gain Amber off of them too. Mm -hmm. But especially if you just lay that down, just to do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, no. And you also get an Amber for just playing the card. Right. So, um, what a deck. Uh, I really like the, the Sanctum. It was really cool. I'll be honest. I think the Logos in this, there's a ton of creatures in this too. Did you notice that? Yeah, a lot of creatures. Lots of creatures. This is a creature-heavy deck that'll be fun to play. I don't know if it's going to be ranked really high, but the disc was just, cool. I'd be worried a gateway from disc would... Uh, yeah, but you could, re, you could re-summon stuff so fast. That's crazy. So, any last thoughts on those four decks? Um, Not as strong as the first four, I think. Still yeah. some good stuff. Still some fun stuff, but just not as... The first four we saw were... Yeah, so the first four nasty. in our first video, make sure you check that out, definitely were. Yeah, they were definitely more... Intense decks felt a little definitely felt a little stronger. Still holding out for either a horseman or a time traveler deck. I know four more decks come back for part three. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Like, share, and subscribe. I've been Cody, and this is this is Kai. Hello, <laughs> take care. Bye. Bye.